Okay, let's go help the chickens. How much money do I have? How much? Ah, alright. So I have enough bread. I have to go to the back alleys for that. Don't go losing your wits like that, Oddly. It may be best to rest for the day, Miss Oddly. Everything alright. Eek! What's got an endure? Oddly's terrified of the crows, at least. Oh, Jockin's right. It's that lassie and her cousin. Oh, for goodness sake. This isn't good for you, Oddly. Think about your health. Your heart can't take much more. Oh, but I can't settle down, Mariel. Lord is with Kieferberg. We must not forget that. You ought to put your faith in him, Miss Oddly. That's right, Oddly. You can't get swayed by whatever old Jockin says. Do I look like a witch to you, Miss Oddly? Oh, I wouldn't know, lass. What do you mean you wouldn't know? Don't rile her up, please. We'll take care of her. Don't you worry, dearie. Best you start confessing, Dorothea. A mother's sin passes on to her child, you know. Oh, for goodness sake. That's a fact, Elise. What you ought to do, Dorothea, is wear your rosary all nine months. Oh, I will, I will. But Brunhild, she... What about Miss Brunhild? She's been doing these... divinations. Why not let her, then? Miss Brunhild's so anxious, it might make her settle down a little. Elise! Why could you say such a thing, lass? Huh? Well, Elise, this is rather dangerous. Whether we believe in the witch or not, she could hurt herself. I don't know what you've been doing behind our backs, Elise, but... Where's this all coming from? All I'm saying is that Miss Brunhild is an adult and such. Brunhild's rather gullible, Elise. We all know that. Oh, you'd best get Elise away from Brunhild, Dorothea. Why, you... Had their fill, I'd wager. The crows, Mr. Guido? They've been circling the windmill all morning, the bastards. Yet they haven't come for a grain even once. Hmm. Would you say they won't? If they haven't attempted it until now, who's to say, Elise? You can't leave the windmill, that's what. Ah, no, I was just saying that maybe now. They're not coming for the grain because we're here, I'm certain. They come diving down the moment we left, I'd wager. That's a given. I suppose. It's a good thing Apfel's feeling better, Elizabeth. No use in rooting out, it'll only wear you out even more. I can't help but worry. Mr. Bernhardt is right, Miss Elizabeth. Even so, you must keep an eye on the children. How's your horse, Eugene? Tired still, poor things lying about in the hay. Where are my goats? I think someone could do such a thing. I've been keeping calm, not wanting to rile folks up, but... You've been too calm, I'd say. 
First thing, Keeper Berg to hell won't bring my horses back, Bernard. Someone ought to have done it. That's all I have to say. I must say, I'm starting to understand how these old folks feel. It's Elizabeth. It's certainly easier to believe there's a witch, isn't it? Can't say I don't understand. I simply can't bring myself to agree. Rather tricky now that we don't have Eugene's horses. Mm -hmm. You could lend us a hand, Freya. Oh, Elise, won't you tell Papa to stop before he... Huh? <laughs> Freya's as strong as I am, believe it or not. Papa? I can rather fluster, don't you, Freya? As he makes it sound as if I'm a... Uh... I'd say it's an asset, not a fault, Freya. <laughs> I'm not that strong anyhow. I must say I'm curious to see that now, lass. Don't pressure her, Heinrich. Wait, really? Oh, but even I would like to see how strong she is. All right, all right. <laughs> How's this then? <laughs> ah, I can't believe it. Gustav weighs as much as a horse, but look at that. She barely even broke a sweat, too. That's my daughter. Atta girl, Freya. Papa, not in front of Elise, too. Huh? This is the kind of cheer Kieferberg needs. Truly, I'm tired of hearing about this witch. You'd be better off marrying Eugene, I'd say. Who's marrying Mr. Eugene? Oh, Bertha's Justin, Elise. You have to agree, Marilyn. They're about the same age, too. You can't be talking about Miss Elizabeth. Oh, that's what I'd be talking about, Elise. Now, I can't be spreading this nonsense about town, you hear? It's far from nonsense. Those children need a proper father. Eugene's leaving first thing must next Monday, anyhow. A big mistake, if you ask me. I'm not too certain about Eugene myself, but... I must agree, poor Elizabeth would be better off now if she'd remarried. Remember these old hags talking behind folks back. Oh. Heading from those folks, are you, Leb? That obvious, isn't it? To me, yes. Folks have been hounding me all day, is all. I don't want to admit it, at least, but... I made a mess of that whole ordeal. I'm truly sorry, Lepkitchen. I didn't mean to trouble you. That's not what I was going to say, but please continue. I feel awful about it. I know you do, Elise. It doesn't matter anymore. What were you going to say, then? And we ought to take all these goings-on seriously, Elise. There's no witch, Lepkitchen. Yet folks are losing their wits all the same, aren't they? Let's keep calm, is what you're saying. Hey, Elise. You're hiding something from me, aren't you? Uh... You're putting yourself in danger, aren't you? Lepkuchen. You know me. You know I can tell when something's not right. It's nothing to worry about. In truth, it's not even... Whatever it is, Elise, I won't be able to help you with it. Not when you keep secrets from me, and not when... No, I won't say it. Lepkuchen, I truly... Be careful, Elise. That's my only request. I'm not about to drag Lepkuchen into this. This is something I have to do for myself, by myself. We were just talking about you, dearie. You miss Merchantile? Oh, Elise, aren't you scared of these crows? They're more of a nuisance, I'd say. See, Brunhild, Elise doesn't let it get to her. Oh, but there are so many. But they haven't attacked anyone, have they? No, not at all. They're just hopping about town, it seems. It certainly is strange, but I don't think there's much harm. You don't think there's a witch about town, Mitzmore's child? I'm old enough to know such things don't exist, Brunhild. Surely, Miss Brunhild, you can't listen to these old folks. 
I suppose that's true. I'm glad Miss Merchild's urging folks to keep calm. Hello. It's best we start gathering for prayer, old Jagan. Not much else we can do with neighbors like these, I'd say. Out and about talking behind folks' backs again, I see. What use is there in winding old Jagan up, Elise? Kieferberg isn't taking these omens seriously, lass. Folks are making merry amongst these crows like it's nothing. What do you say they should be doing, then? Pray them away? You shouldn't see such things, Elise. Better yet, why not have them fetch the witch for us and ask her to stop? I can all have Kieferberg, are you? There's no need to do this, Elise. Why, there's no need to frighten folks for nothing, but here we are. Not to be frightened, Elise. We're dealing with a witch. It's your lack of fear and penitence that's so aggravating, lass. Now, old Jockin, you know what Father Hans said. You still haven't told us what you saw last night, Elise. I'd say it's your own fault you didn't care to listen last night, old Jockin. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have better things to be doing with my time. I'm not about to stand here and listen to this nonsense. Who cares if Miss Brunhild makes some weed brew, or what have you? Miss Oddly will be meeting her maker sooner rather than later, huh? Alright, time for that chicken thing. Are you wanting to eat a lot of eggs, Elise? What else is there to eat in this town, anyhow? Well, you have enough for a hog or two, I'm certain. Huh? Anyhow, won't you fetch me a few eggs for supper? Alright, Mr. Wilhelm. Let's have you pitch in for that hog, what do you say? For bringing you the entire coop, I will. Yep. I don't know what you feathered rat. Dang. Ah, you did good? Uh, no. Ain't good enough. You 
Use it while it lasts. These will do. Here for your hard work. Thank you, Mr. Wilhelm. I'll be eating well tonight, that's for certain. Who's he again? Eat bread. Ah, chop wood. Apples? Ooh, two of the best ones. Oh, I wouldn't be running home if I were you, Elise. What? Lord knows what those crows have done to it by now. Wretched things are everywhere. I've been trying to get rid of them, but they won't budge. Have they broken into anyone's home, or...? Not yet, but they most definitely could. They're thieves like rats. You'd best hide that brooch of yours, Elise, lest they steal it. We're making too much of it, Miss Marilyn. Have you heard about Apfel, Elise? That he had his hands pecked by crows? There's nothing about hearsay, Bertha. My, but isn't it horrifying? Apfel gripped his fist too tightly, nothing more. Oh, you'd say that's it? Of course that's it, Bertha. Ludwig says he'll have a word with Father Hands about it, but... As if they have anything to do with it. I think these folks are spreading this nonsense. Oi, Ariani, it's too late for me. I'm oh, not, Miss Audley. The Lord last thinks you headed to hell, Elise. Eek! This is no laughing matter, folks. I wouldn't Miss Audley be headed to hell, Mr. Wilhelm. That's what I'm saying, Lash. She isn't. Oh, yes, I am. I am Wilhelm. Aren't we all, Miss Audley? We're all sinners. Isn't that what Father Hans tells us every Sunday morning? Of course, we must all repent and keep faith. Oh, but it's too late for me, lass. I have to have confessed everything while I still had the chance. You speak as though you won't make it to the festival. Well, none of us will, Wilhelm. These crows are a bad omen. For goodness sake, not even Father Hans can console her at this rate. We'll see each other soon enough in hell. Eek! Have some sense, Wilhelm. I can't blame old Wilhelm for wanting to tease Miss Audley, can I? It truly is too easy. Folks can't help themselves. It's as though you've never had a fever yourself, old Jockin. Glad I was crying about the witch merchant child. Or exactly did you hear such nonsense, Mr. Jockin? Ah, at least finally someone to talk some sense into this fool. Elizabeth herself said the lad was delirious, lass. Miss Elizabeth never said anything about a witch, Mr. Jockin. You ought to stop spreading this nonsense about town. Folks are already tense enough as it is, Jockin. Old Stefan warned us about this, merchant child. If I may ask, old Jockin, what was so special about old Stefan's word? I must say I'm curious, too. Old Stefan... New Kieferberg was to face many trials, lass, and now we're seeing them right before our eyes. How about the witch, then? Very true. I'm yet to see her out and about, Jockin. Time will reveal all, I say. This March child's presence seems to have kept him calm, but I'd say the harm is done. His nonsense has already spread throughout town. Oh, Elise, Miss Wilhelm is working me like a donkey today. Why doesn't she? I'm sorry, Elise, I didn't mean to yell. Olive Kieferberg is on edge today, Freya. 
Need to let off a little steam, too. Oh, I can't help it. I should bring some cheer back into folks' days, Elise. You made it your duty to do such a thing. Aye, I did. We're all grumpy enough as is. I can't make it even worse. Folks don't appreciate your cheer enough, Rhea. Oh, Elise, we can't blame them, can we? Don't you get tired of getting nothing in return? Why? But this is who I am, Elise. I enjoy looking after folks as best I can. I can't help it. For truly... I suppose it does make me look a little foolish, doesn't it? A little bit, but I suppose it makes her who she is. And no fireflies. Don't touch a groan. Doesn't matter, Jacob, it's dead. In the Lord's name, what are you two doing to that thing? Eek! E Elise! Good grief, you two know better than to touch that filth. Oh, please, don't tell Mama. It fell from the sky, Elise. We were playing and it fell from the sky, I swear. Alright, fine, stop yelling. It fell from the sky, you say? Straight down. Jacob thinks it might have been sick, but... Don't you dare touch it, Groon. Don't yell at me, Elise. That fellow was the one who saw it first, Elise. We ran off to find some rocks for the funeral. The funeral? Whose funeral? The crows, Elise. Ugh, just don't touch it, whatever you do. What about your mama, Groon? I don't want to talk about it. Apfel said Miss Lisbeth isn't feeling so well. Go away, Elise. You're not invited to the funeral. Groon. Must apologize, lass. To me, Mr. Bernhard? If we believed you last night, we would could have prepared ourselves. I can't see I see how, if I'm honest. You could have locked the granary for starters. Makes one wonder why they're perched here in Kieferberg. It's a rare sight, that's for certain. Have you seen crows here before, Bernhard? A long time ago, almost twenty years ago. It wasn't nearly as bad as this, however. It's best we have a word with Father Hans. About what, Mr. Heinrich? Eferberg needs some direction, Elise. I must say, Heinrich, you stop struggling to find common ground with Father Hans, too. It is true, Father Hans doesn't seem too concerned, that's for certain. We must tell him his folks need him. I feel Mr. Gustav and Father Hans aren't seeing eye to eye, huh? Let's not get too close, lass. Lord knows they might swoop down for that brooch of yours. Are you making too much of it, Mr. Tristan? Oh, he's right, Elise. It is dangerous. I can't seem to settle down with these crows flying about. And that fellow's fever, too. What if it's contagious? That fellow's feeling better already, Mr. Tristan? Other hands is urging us to stay calm, folks. You must see to our duties, nothing more. Easier said than done, Ludwig. Mr. Tristan? There was a theft, Tristan. Nothing strange about that. Apfel's fever was just that, a fever. I'd wager these crows will give up on our grain soon enough, too. I'm still not convinced, Ludwig. 
I suppose neither of them will let me through. Check the usual spots for fireflies. Oh. I was wondering, Elise. Don't you find it strange the crows are still hanging about town? Not that you mention it. I already got that testament. There's no real reason for them to stay. Unless there's something else they want from you, Elise. Such as? Oh, I wouldn't know. Something else they're wanting? They've guided you to the windmill. I suppose that was nice of them. Uh, how nice of them, indeed. It may be they're wanting to tell you something else. We'll see about that, Rosamarine. I was starting to think you wouldn't come about, Elise. If you had to discuss what happened last night. How about it, Father? Those crows you claim to have seen, are they the same ones that... Are you expecting me to know them by name, or...? I'm asking you nicely, Elise. Let's not try each other's patience. I know as much as you do, Father. If that's all you have to ask me, then I'd rather... No, that's not all, Elise. I must ask you to mind your words in town, lass. Oh, well, for goodness sake. You having claimed to see these crows last night is rather... What does this have to do with me, exactly? Folks don't know any better, Elise. This is rather... If that's the case, then recommend having a word with old Jockin instead. He's the one terrorizing Miss Oddly day and night. Old Jockin's a different matter altogether, lass. In that case, I believe we're very much done here, Father. Hmm. Attitude, he says. No fireflies up here. I suppose that's not that ridiculous, given what's happened, but... If that's the case, what are they waiting for? I didn't know you were coming with, Elise. Or too, Miss Linda. We're stopping by Elizabeth, Elise. Oh, my poor Jacob won't settle down. Taking a toll on the children, that's for certain. I'm meaning to ask her if they would like to spend the night with us. They appreciate spending some time together, I'd wager. Elizabeth will most likely want to watch over Apfel, Linda. Oh, that's true. Apfel's seen those goats, he tells me. That's such a horrible sight for someone his age. I'll come about later, too. I'm concerned about Miss Elizabeth. Oh, me too. Her being a widow, also. What does that have to do with any of this, Miss Brunhild? Truly, Brunhild, don't be so superstitious. Oh, I suppose. I hope Miss Elizabeth doesn't lose her mind over this. Hmm. 
I'm gonna if I'm gonna ask for help again, I gotta get at least one more bread in. Uh might not do it for the second portion. I have zero suspicion. Fireflies. Oh? Came back. Okay. I've seen this symbol before, haven't I? I ought to wonder what this means. A man-sized sigil appears chiseled into the door's gray surface, surrounded by uneven scattered crevices. Interesting. Why could I have the ability to go back in here when it said I should wait? Interesting. I lost a lot of sanity there. my oil. Okay, where else would these butterflies be? Thing in the yard. I think up here. Oh, okay, I gotta rock all the way back now. All right, well, that means to the apples. Gotta stop by the inn. Cause we have to get that soup. Hoping we have enough money though for it. Let's see. Apples is here, okay. What? Oh no. Oh, she moved, okay. Oh, let me in.
Oh, we get more? I have plenty. Alright, one suit for that chick. Ah, uh, I forgot. I think I can sell matches. Can I? Oh, uh, I can't, huh? I cannot hear. Alright. Get on that note. Ah, there you are. How can I help you, Miss Elma? I was wondering if you could fetch me some apples, Elise. If the crows haven't eaten them all, that is. Of course. I doubt they did, if I'm honest. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Like these folks want bad things to happen, huh? I do not need help for this one. It's a lot. Holy cow. Yay. Oh, you didn't have to bring me so many. Although I'm not complaining. Did my best, I suppose. And it shows you, at least. Here you go. Thank you, Miss Elma.